What's up guys, Supercar Blondie here in California and behind me I have a very, very special car that I want to take you through. This is the Tuatara from SSC. actually a North American manufacturer and with this car one of their goals is to beat the world speed record now you might go up oh, everyone says that everyone wants to do that the thing is guys the model before this the ultimate aero did beat the world speed record <laughs> and that was at 414 kilometers an hour. Then it was taken by Bugatti, then it was taken by Koenigsegg, so they wanna take that world record back from Koenigsegg uh, within a couple of months time. So that's what they're on track to do. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, this is where you get to see the coolest cars in the world, and I'm crying because it's so cold. <laughs> so let's see how we go. This car is super impressive. I'll tell you about its weight to horsepower ratio. That's a big thing in the industry, right? This weighs 1,347 kilos, but it has 1,350 horsepower. So that's more horsepower than the weight of the car, which is just insane. Like you think about a Koenigsegg one-to-one, -one, right? When that came out, everyone was like, what? Hang on, sorry, say what? It has, for every kilo, it has one horsepower? That's crazy. They have more horsepower to every kilo. And the other thing is, if you run it on E85, the special fuel, which you can get actually just at the pump uh, in a lot of places in America, then it actually goes up to 1,750 horsepower. This car, right here, 1,750 horsepower, and it weighs 1,350 kilos. So that's kind of crazy. So these guys say so they've got what it takes to beat the world speed record. We're gonna to speak to the owner, Jared, a little bit later on. He's gonna take us around the car. It's called the Tuatara, and that is actually named after a lizard in New Zealand. I'm from Australia. I've actually never been to New Zealand, so I'm not familiar with this lizard, but apparently it has the fastest evolving DNA. There's a story behind that because the journey they've been on from the very first type of car they made to this one, has been huge it's been a significant leap so it, it means something to them and that's why they've named this car to Atara. the first one the ultimate aero that beat the world speed record a number of years ago that was like the first ever hypercar they built and this is the second one and you can just imagine what a feat that is imagine waking up and going i'm going to build a hypercar how do i start there's actually just a little button here so you just press that you hear the latch opening inside and then this isn't actually how it's going to operate on the model once it's out this will just automatically open but for now um, there's just a little uh, lever here pull the door up so there is actually a customer car already out and it has all of those functioning features first time for me getting into this car <sighs> okay I wore my special gold pants just so I'd feel fancy enough to get in here. This is just a, a rear view mirror when it's static like this. But then if you press this button here, the left mirror will come up and the camera is just here at the, the door. You see that there? So that's the camera. And then if you press the middle one, this is actually the reverse, hello, this is actually the reverse camera. So there is a reverse camera and then you can press this one and it'll pick up what's on the right of you. So you can either, either use this as like a standard mirror to look back or you can put on all three of these cameras and see what's happening around you, which is kind of cool. And then here, everything is controlled from this touch screen. So there are no buttons, like literally no buttons. If you look around here, there's nothing. Even to open and close the windows, you use this here. Oh, that's already closed, here we go. Quite fast, isn't it? Even this entertainment system here is all in-house made. It's about a team of 25 guys and can you just imagine making everything like this from scratch? They've come up with all of this technology. 
This engine has been created in partnership with Nelson's um, racing engines. It's a V8 twin turbo, but they've actually developed a special turbo so there's no lag. That's something that a lot of people don't like about turbo engines is you get that you have to wait until the power kicks in and it could take you know a good second before that actually happens and that can be quite annoying if you're in a fast car all right foot on the brake Woke up the neighbors. It's super early, by the way. <laughs> All right, we're gonna call the owner over. Jared? 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 Hello? I love how they just appear from around the corner. <laughs> like magic. How are you? Uh, great. Nice to have you. Oh, well, nice to have you here. It's your car. I'm here. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. I just wanted to know from you why you decided to build a hypercar. Uh, it's always been my dream. I How's it up, really? Yeah, grew up racing go karts on a national level as a child. Okay. And so it was always my dream to design and build my own car from the ground up. And how does it make you feel now that you've done it? Oh, it's amazingly rewarding. Uh, you know, weekends like this where we get the feedback and the reaction from yeah. potential clients and, and people that get to see the car for the first time, it's, it's amazing. And so you guys are only making up to a hundred of these? That's correct. That's it. Yeah. And so if I were to order one today, how long does it take to actually make it and have it to me? It's a four month build cycle, Okay. Uh, but we're booked out halfway through 2020 now. So wow. those are the next open slots. Congratulations. The price is $1.6 million. And that's like the entry level price, Base right? Model. Do you get any tires with that or is that <laughs> you, do get tires, you, you get the whole car yeah yeah okay that's good <laughs> just checking and then on top of that you can get the extra options which will take you you know up to you know 1.7 1.8 correct what can you actually get extra oh there's uh it's actually a 20 page book of options for the 20 pages yeah uh, everything from different color schemes of the interior okay. to exposed carbon fiber body oh nice uh to high downforce kits with static larger wings we're just taking a look at some of the design features in the body so you were saying so this is all functional I mean yes the whole patterns over the nose of the body and the rear of the body are all functional uh, as the heat from the engine bay exits these holes it speeds the air up that passes over the body and this body actually has a coefficient of drag of 0.279, which is the lowest of any hypercar. Really? That in combination with our 1,750 horsepower <laughs> uh, gives us great confidence that we, we will exceed 300 miles per hour. Yeah, I, I, I can see the confidence. I can see it. It's Absolutely. gonna happen, it's gonna happen. <laughs> this area here actually keeps the air uh, attached to the body uh, yeah. as it runs down this tunnel and then it accelerates as it passes over these holes. And the, do these wings move at all or are they just fixed nope, these as are, is? these are static. Yeah. Okay. And once again, this keeps you uh, stable at high speeds in, right. in a straight line. Right, right. Hey. Oh, that's that looks so cool. cool. And then to go over a speed bump or load it in a trailer, we yeah. can raise the nose as Let's well. Just... Nice. It's so fast. Are we ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's see how this baby runs. Same time. 
take it on the track and, and beat a world speed record. And Absolutely. to do both those things in a car is quite special. Yeah. Notice how well the clutch engagement yeah, yeah, yeah. is, very smooth. Yep. We spent a lot of time on the daily drivability of it right. and making it to where anybody can drive this car. At first when you guys beat the world speed record, um, did a lot of people think, oh, okay, well this car is probably only good to go in a straight line? Yes. Is that some of oh, the Oh, that was a huge challenge for yeah. us. Everybody thought, oh, this car is amazingly fast in a straight line. Right. It's probably very hard. It's like a race car. You wouldn't be able to drive it. And we have made this to where it's very easy to valet park, yep. uh, you know, daily drivability, be yep. able to raise the nose. And, and I'm over. just looking at like the visibility as well. Like you can see really well. Yeah. This is and something you can actually just drive around town. Yeah, and whether you're on the city streets or on a track, you'll notice this open A-pillar area really yep. gives you a lot of nice visibility yep. forward. Yeah, no, it's actually really good. <laughs> looking around the new Tuatara give the video a quick thumbs up for us make sure to let your friends know about the video because this is a car you're not gonna see very many places there's only one out on the roads at the moment with a customer and this car and with this car you guys are actually going to be looking to break the world speed record right mm -hmm. so this is going to be everywhere in the next few months watch out for it I wish you the best of luck I really hope it all Thank comes you. together for you it's not if it's when right they're gonna Absolutely. break it if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet you're missing out press the subscribe button because we've got so many cool cars coming your way right we're out thank you Jared bye bye guys <laughs>